Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Peebom and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you the best Black Ops 6 graphics settings. So let's jump straight into it. So go to your graphics settings and under the display tab you have your first few settings. You can put these in whatever you prefer but the first settings that's going to be important is the Nvidia Reflex Low Latency. You should put this on ON or ON plus boot. For the sustainability you should put your eco mode preset on custom. Your V-Sync should be off and your custom frame rate limit should also be put on whatever you prefer. So for your menu, menu resolution, this will have no impact on performance and visual quality while in gameplay. But you can also put this on whatever you prefer in your menu. So the next step is going to be quality. Put your graphic preset on minimum and put your dynamic resolution on off. For your upscaling and sharpening, I use NVIDIA image scaling, I like it a lot. I also like the AMD FSR tree, but it's also up to whatever you prefer. For your VRAM scale targets, um, if you only play the game and you have no other tabs open, you should put it on 90, but I like to keep it on 80. For your variable ray shading, you should put this on on as well. So for all your details and texture settings, everything is on the very minimal right now. The only things you should tweak is the texture resolution, you should put this on high and your texture filter anisotropic, you should put this on high as well. So for the view tab, there are actually a few settings that we have to change. Most of them are personal preference, but there are a few that are important. The first one is the motion reduction preset, you should off. The next thing that's important is the field of view. I use 120, but keep in mind, the more FOV you use, the less FPS you're gonna have. The next setting that's important is the world motion blur. You should put this on off. The weapon motion blur should be on off as well. And the person camera movements should be on lead. This week will make your screen shake a little less when you're in a car. If you have tweaked all these settings, there's only one more thing you have to do that's very important. You have to go to your display tab and you have to click the restart shader. After you've clicked the restart shaders preloading button, just restart your Call of Duty and play a game. You will have a lot more FPS. Now, if this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.